Hey guys, this is Shane once again. I wasn't doing planning on doing a video uh, um, regarding this book, but um, there was just a page and a half in here that just, um, it's honestly crazy. It's honestly insane. Um, the Federal Reserve is definitely a racket, and these uh, short uh, few paragraphs will definitely show you that if you are unaware um, before. I did a, uh, a short a short explanation on the Federal Reserve uh, my last video on uh, the LUA promos for FPRN. And uh, that was uh, um, a lot of uh, extremely good information in there, but this actually discusses the, the mechanisms uh, at work. Um, so I just wanted to read you a little bit of this. Uh, this, should, this is going to be a short video. So um, <coughs> this is from page 29 of uh, The Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin. Quote, Since the system makes it profitable for banks to make large, unsound loans, that is the kind of loans which banks will make. Furthermore, it is predictable that most unsound loans eventually will go into default. When the borrower finally declares that he cannot pay, the bank responds by rolling over the loan. This often is stage managed to appear as a concession on the part of the bank, but in reality, it is a significant forward move toward the objective of perpetual interest. Eventually, the borrower becomes to the point the borrower comes to the point where he can no longer pay even the interest. Now the play becomes more complex. The bank does not want to lose the interest because that is its stream of income, but it cannot afford to allow the borrower to go into default either because that would, that would require a write-off which in turn could wipe out the owner's equity, equity and put the bank out of business. So the bank's next move is to create additional money out of nothing and lend that to the borrower <laughs> so he will have enough to continue paying the interest which by now must be paid on the original loan plus the additional loan as well. What looked like a cer certain disaster suddenly is converted by a brilliant play into a major score. This not only maintains the old loan on the books as an asset, it actually increases the apparent size of that asset and also results in higher interest payments, thus greater profit to the bank. <coughs> That is, that's insane. But let me read this next part. Um, second here. Quote, sooner or later the borrower becomes restless. He is not interested in making interest payments with nothing left for himself. He comes to realize that he is merely working for the bank and once again interest payments stop. The opposing teams go into a huddle to plan the next move, then rush to the scrimmage line where they hurl threatening innuendos at each other. The borrower simply cannot, will not pay. Collect if you can. The lender threatens to blackball the borrower to see if uh, to see it to it that he will never again be able to obtain a loan. Finally, a compromise is worked out. As before, the bank agrees to a bank agrees to create still more money out of nothing and lend that to the borrower to cover the interest on both of the previous loans. But this time, they up the ante to provide still additional money for the borrower to spend on something other than interest. That is a perfect score. The borrower suddenly has a fresh supply of money for his purposes, plus enough to keep making those bothersome interest payments. The bank, on the other hand, now has still larger assets, higher interest income, and greater profits. What an exciting game. So, I definitely recommend you guys read this book, uh, Creature from Jekyll Island by G. Edward Griffin. Um, I'll post this uh, PDF in the links below. Um, this book is... Uh, um, just 30 pages. This is just the first 30 pages. Um, I've learned so much about um, the Federal Reserve, the history of it, the players. Um, I learned some of it, uh, and none dare call it a conspiracy. Um, but this book, uh, this is just 30 pages in, and it is uh, um, it's definitely something that you all need to read. So I hope you guys take the time to do that. Um, I will continue to uh, post links, or post, uh, um, post excerpts from it, um, things that I find important. Um, but I can, I believe the entire book is important and I obviously cannot uh, post a complete excerpt of that. Um, so the PDF will be there if you guys want to read this. Um, if you can find it on Amazon, pretty much wherever. It's an easy book to get. Um, but that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I will end uh, by saying end of the Fed. Thanks. Have a great day, guys.